Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you an updated tour of my pet room. So first, before you even enter the room, I have this baby gate here from Walmart. This is heavily customized. We had to add on some metal bars and I cut out the mesh and put a solid piece of plastic because my rabbits would pull on it. And this is just to keep the rabbits inside and my cats outside. So inside of the pet room, this is home to five of my pets. We have Cleo and Lola, my lop-eared rabbits, and then we have Waddles, my Chinese hamster, Mabel, my female Syrian hamster, and Dipper, my male Syrian hamster. The first thing you'll see when you enter the room is this bulletin board, and it is full of different little bits and bobs, like pictures people have drawn for me. There's pictures of my pets, other people's pets, business cards and stickers from people's shops, as well as there's even a little cross-stitch picture of my past hamster, Lenny. The first thing you see when you come into the room is my Lavoite pet air purifier that is currently off so that I can film. This is super handy and I don't know how I would live without one of these because this room creates so much dust. Then over here, you'll see I have this homemade play table for the rabbits with a white memory foam mat underneath it. You'll also notice any cords that the rabbits have access to, they have a black cord protector on them for their protection and they don't chew it. In the center of the room, they just have their main carpet. I think this is a five by seven carpet and it is full <laughs> of all different types of toys for them to throw around and chew. They also have their main snugabun. This is a bed from the 101 Rabbits shop. Over here, I also do have a hideout that I custom made them. So there's an entrance on this side. Uh, my pants it is with rabbit safe paint. And then there is a entrance on the other side. So on the left side of the room, we have the IKEA tabletop and underneath of that, we have the rabbit's litter box and hay area. The litter box that I use is just one of those long under the bed storage bins and the litter inside of it is wood stove pellets. And then for their hay, my mom actually just made these hay bags for me recently and they're just hanging on some storage grids at the back. Now above on top of the table, we have my hamster Waddles enclosure. So Waddles enclosure is actually just a DIY IKEA Linman enclosure. I'll make sure to leave links to the video that I showed making it but this enclosure has 853 square inches of floor space, so it just looks like this. So above Waddle's enclosure, we just have some things hanging on the wall. Starting with the left side, we have my 100,000 subscribers play button with my old username. In the middle, we just have this little clothesline picture thing with some past and present animals. And then to the right, I just have these three cube hangers and they have little bits and bobs. Like I have this, I think this is a three inch or is it four inch hamster wheel that should not ever be used, but it's super cute. There's a little rabbit figure. We have a maize and hamster and a little glass rabbit along with some seagrass boxes, a little rat painting done by Emiology and a little rabbit fuzzy and just some hamster Kleenex. And then coming over here, I have these two very large, long windows. So they drop down all the way to the floor pretty much. And I love that for the rabbits because they're able to look out the window. So to do that, I've just put one of these Ikea doll beds there. They don't really use this like a lot of rabbits do, but it's there. And then we have an Oxbow hanging toy. 
And then over here, they just have their Toki Hut castle and they love to sit on this and look out the window. Just in front of that, we have another white memory foam mat along with the rabbit's water dish. Then beside that, I just have one of these super duper large bendable bridges for the rabbits to chew or go through. Now over here up on the walls, I have a couple of pictures of the pets. So I have three of the rabbits and then I have three pictures that are some of my favorite pictures I've taken of my past hamsters. We have Lenny, Bumble, and Tater Tot. And then I just have a cross-stitched hamster that I made myself. So then beside that, I do have these two shelves here. The top one just has my three different carriers. These are very handy. I use these for taking the hamsters to go free roam in my bathroom or if I need to just check out their enclosure, do any little cleaning and they're in the way, I can just grab those and they go in them. I also do have my 11 inch wooden wheel and a little maize and hamster in there. So underneath that shelf we have another one and there's a couple of things on here. First off we have my Lorex security camera. So this one looks at the rabbits. Everybody say hello. <laughs> then beside that we just have a thermostat. And yes, it is very dry in here. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you have electric heating. We do have a basket and that is just full of different dishes for the hamsters, vegetables, or any type of little treats. I also have some brushes, one for the rabbits and one for my Syrian hamsters. And then we just have some of our treat jars. So the first one contains dehydrated carrots. These are the main treats for my rabbits. Then we have some of the Gerber puffs. These are for the hamsters. And then the next one has different dried vegetables. Then we have dehydrated tofu, whole shelled peanuts, some oxbow treats, and some whole sunflower seeds. So now, of course, below that shelf, we have the first DIY enclosure, and this is Dipper's enclosure. This is just an overview of Dipper's enclosure. It has 1,152 square inches of floor space. And then beside Dipper's enclosure, we have Mabel's enclosure, and it is essentially just a duplicate of Dipper's enclosure. I also have to show you the Gravity Falls sign I've made, because if you didn't notice, that is the inspiration for my hamster's names. So here is an overview of Mabel's enclosure. Once again, it has 1,152 square inches of floor space. Something I also forgot to mention is that each of the enclosures has their own Waze V3 security cameras. I have a lot of anxiety with my hamsters and this basically eliminates that. So behind Mabel's enclosure, I did paint this really pretty arc. It's kind of one of my new favorite colors. And above that, we have another shelf. So first off, I have my kitchen scale. This is used for weighing my hamsters. Then we have my herb jar and some other jars. We have some dried dandelion root, sunflower head, my main seed mix, some millet sprays, and then there is some of these dog cookies and on top of that we have a little hamster nightlight this was from ikea many many years ago then beside that i just have my little sifter i use that for sifting the hamster's sandbox i also have this glass vase and this just has dried amaranth in it and then below that it just have a interactive toy i sometimes give to mabel then coming to the right, we just have my closet. So inside of my closet, it is not the most organized thing ever, 
but it holds all of the hamster and rabbit supplies. At the top I have jars full of hamster food ingredients when I make the hamster food. We have a cubby that has some herbs, some other treats that are in bags. We have a bunch of natural toys and accessories. We have chew toys, a bunch of bendable bridges, um, a ceramic hide, and all of my sprays and some more treats. We have more hamster accessories more hamster accessories. Um, then we have two baskets here. I have my water vinegar mix for cleaning. In this corner we just have my bale of hay for the rabbits as well as we have a bin here that has their litter and then in the corner there's a bunch of bags for uh, hamster bedding. On the other side we just have a three-piece organizer. On top of it we have um, some snuggle sacks for the hamsters and then the first drawer has all of my herbs that are in their individual packaging. The middle drawer has so many rabbit toys and then the bottom drawer has kind of Christmassy themed toys. Now the last thing in the room is just this Toki Hut play mat for the rabbits so this has a bunch of different little holes and things and they can kind of have to work for any type of food like little treats or herbs. So here is just an overview of the entire room which is a little bit hard to do because there is <laughs> things in the way but that is the entire pet room. So that is my pet room and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!